I'm here with Seth Watari, Southern Barbecue Network, also Summer Swine, and I see these two UDS smokers behind you. Tell me a little bit about these cookers. Well, the UDS smokers have been around for quite some time. They're, they're all over the internet. People have different designs. Um, this, is, this is a design that we came up with, my wife and myself. It is basically an ugly drum smoker. But we've added a little bit of our own electronics to it that measures the temperature of the drum and when it needs to, it, it turns the blower on and adds more, uh, more air to increase the temperature. Once it reaches its set temperature, it, go, it turns off just like any oven would and it, uh, it'll sit there for several hours. Uh, these units are, are extremely efficient. They'll run on about 15 to 16 pounds of charcoal all night, uh, which is kind of nice. You're sitting out here in a, in a barbecue because you can actually do a little bit of sleeping. Any differences between uh, the R2-D2 version and this, this one here? Actually, they're identical for the exception of the paint. The, uh, the, the R2, actually it's R2-BQ, is uh, uh, the, the second generation. Uh, Summer Swine, or the UAC here, as uh, my wife refers to as the ugly ass cooker, is the, uh, the original. This is what we started our prototype. And uh, with a little bit of paint, a little bit of uh, masking tape, we created our design and everything. And so you you designed these? Yes, yes. And built them. How much uh, material costs go into building a UDS? Oh, UDS. oh uh, a, a drum smoker. If you don't include the uh, the domed lid, you're probably looking at a uh, hundred dollars on at the most. It uses a lot of components out of your 22-inch Weber kettle. And if you're lucky and you find them on Craigslist, and I'm, I'm going to kick myself for saying this, but because everyone's going to be looking on Craigslist now, but these kettle tops are available for people trying to get rid of their old barbecues, their, their uh, charcoal grills. So that's a, that's a standard 22-inch uh, Weber charcoal lid for it. And it's got its own little built-in holder. And it's got its own vent. It's just ready to go. Do you have to watch out the kind of paint you use? The, uh, the paint is a regular automotive engine paint, so it's good to 500 degrees. And in my way of thinking, if your uh, cooker gets up over 500 degrees, burning the paint's the least of your worries. Because we're talking low and slow. We're talking low and slow. I, I generally run around 225, 230 degrees. And like I said, all night long, it'll run uh, you know, 15, 16 hours and just still have charcoal to spare. So you use these exclusively now for competing? Yes, we're getting ready for the uh, Kansas City Barbecue uh, Sam's Club Tour, the uh, national tournament, which will be held in uh, June, we're competing in, and that's all charcoal and all wood, so we're, okay, we had to retire the uh, propane units for a while, and now we're up on pure charcoal and wood. Where does the charcoal go in, just the bottom? Charcoal is held in a basket in the bottom. It's a 16 by 16 inch basket, it's about 16 inches tall, and that's all. We just fill it once and let it go. On top of that, you can see where these bolts are. There's a, there's a grate at this level and seven inches above it. There's another set of grates up there. So I can actually cook uh, six pork butts or two briskets and, and three pork butts uh, all in one cooker. Is that the drip pan size of the drip pan? That is, uh, that's a pan I use on the inside. And basically all that does is it diverts the heat around towards the outside of the drum rather than ho uh, a hot spot in the center. So this one's holding a good temperature at... Right, this one's holding right at uh, 221 degrees, which is real good. We've got our ribs in there right now, and they're, uh, they're going through their second stage of cooking.